Evening everybody, it's Gary Jump to Bung 7 Move 7. Uh, hello to all the new subscribers and obviously hello to all my family and the people who've been watching over the last uh, seven weeks. So this is the house that we're currently staying at but hopefully not for too much longer because um, the house is, apart from the little bit of roof, um, yeah, it's ready to move in once we get some bits and bobs for the inside. So, yeah, a lot of you have been watching the other videos and, um, yeah, it's not been easy. It has been an emotional roller coaster, uh, frustrations, really angry and, you know, with these builders. Um, but I'm not sure I would change it anyway and just pay somebody, you know, 1.6 million or 2 million or whatever it may be. Um, because you don't really know what what they're doing and anything can anything can look good you know once it's done but you know doing it the way we did project managing and at least you know um what exactly is being done what's being hidden or what is not being hidden so enough for showing you this land which is full of crap because most of you have seen it already many many times before so um yeah we're gonna we're gonna look at the house now um from the from the front right hand side there's a roof people as you know um should have arrived today actually um didn't arrive today i'm hoping it arrives tomorrow um we kept twenty thousand baht a bike from the builders um to make sure they come back and finish it but if they don't then we'll just get another builder to uh, finish it and twenty thousand baht will be enough i'm sure they'll come back so yeah, well, apart from the inside and bits and bobs and, and tarting up and finding the uh, minor faults, uh, we're, we're done. Um, I mean, we've, we've still got a tidy little arm, but that's the carport roof. Um, again, like I said in the previous video, yeah, that's been dropped by a foot to give us a slant. Uh, it should be enough, um, but until we get some serious rain again, uh, who knows, you know, uh, I'm just keeping my fingers crossed on that one. So windows are in, uh, 1.2 by 1.2 UPVC windows. Um, the cost to fit in those windows, a guy, uh, I think he's a member of Kim's family, or uh, a distant family. Um, so I'll give you the price once once we look at all the windows. So there's four, there's four down this side, 1.2 by 1.2. Um, with inner with inner, inner mosquito uh, windows so you, you can actually have the windows open whilst not letting all the mosquitoes in uh, not all windows have them so i i think they're a good thing um uh, each one of those windows i'm not sure i've kind of forgot but i think each one of those windows is about let's say 40 quid i don't think it was probably i mean it might be at 37 quid so we'll say for the window it was for it was 40 quid so there's four windows there, so that's 160 quid. And then there's a little slim one there, uh, which we haven't took the uh, wrapper off yet, but <laughs> we'll do that last. Uh, people have seen the previous videos, have obviously seen the uh, house number. Uh, we live at number seven, uh, move seven. So we've done seven there, the large one, uh, beige on gray, and then the reverse on the slightly smaller front post. Um, new front door is on, as you can as you can see. Um, that door is actually about 120 quid. I don't know that stands up with uh, with UK, but that oh that also came in with a fitting. So the five windows down the right hand side, plus that one in the, in the front there. That's Kim's old we old doors, but the guy um, put those back on for us, and we needed a, a new slider for the bottom. That was including in the fitting price. I'm not sure what that what them doors cost because uh, Kim did them before the before the build. So um, yeah, you can see these things. You've got to be careful. They're just all old sheeting on on the roof. So um, yeah, we've tied it up. Well, Kim's tied up on the outside. I've been doing tidying on the inside and uh, and bits of painting, etc. So this is under under the front. You can see these posts have all been decorated. They just need need to be varnished now with a nice clear varnish to protect the stone. 
and to give them a shiny look. Um, and again, you can see that slant now on that um, on that second beam there to give us that uh, runoff. Should be enough, but like the other one, you know, I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. This is the left hand side. Uh, the same windows. Uh, one, two, three, and then there's one behind the um, new water storage thing. So we'll just have a quick uh, walk round to the bike. Uh, and for those of you, uh, I don't know if I've seen the shit on the land, you'll have to see the shit again, I'm afraid. Uh, we'll we probably get this, uh, hopefully, the, hopefully we'll get that roof done in the next two or three days. Um, and then we're going to you know, get this land tidied up. Um, one more good thing for the builder, he, he actually took, um, cause he took the excess roof which I've covered in a previous video. He's also taken all that, um, all that steel which is basically uh, roof steel. So um, they overbought, but it's only about a thousand baht. But they took it back, so it's a thousand baht off my bill. Uh, now that's the back. Um, still got the wooden trestles. Obviously, the guys need that to do the front of the roof. The doors, as you saw in a previous video, which we, we painted, are now are now on. Um, light grey. That's the inside and uh, dark grey on the outside. Um, and the washing machine, I'm going to put round the other side uh, until I get the new washing machine installed. Headache guys, um, but it's done now um, and we can probably move in in the next three or four days. I've just got to fit the kitchen sink and I will cover um, all the interior um, in the next video. Uh, lots, of, lots of small points to talk, talk about, um, all the outside lights have got uh, waterproof, um, uh, not lights, sorry, switches and uh, plug sockets waterproof you see that that uh, brown black dot there and there's one just in the middle of the um, waterproof for the plugs um, I had to remind the builder about them otherwise he won't have got them um, yeah you've got to remind these people everything they, they used to work in, in, in the Thai way and they think that you think that we all want what Thais want uh, as, as to switches and and plumbing and you know the, and unless you get those things clear from the beginning you'll end up having, you know, the wrong, not wrong switches, but um, the old Thai, Thai style switches. There's a lot of modern switches now on the market, um, you know, same as the European type uh, switches. Um, the different colors, um, some are USB, uh, which we've got um, a two of them on the inside. Um, so yeah, um, I think that's covered everything now, guys, on the outside. Um, until they get that roof fixed. Faces have all been done. I mean, I painted them, I covered that. Outside, we've done in a very, very light grey. You probably can't really see it's a very, very light grey. Um, but if you compare it with the pulse, the pulse is, is white. Um, I'll probably change them to grey, you know, once I get them in it. But um, for now, good news, people. You know, 95% uh, structural and outside is done. All the electric working, um, plumbing is done. I've just got to put the kitchen sink in. Uh, it, it took me a while today, I had an issue with it, but I'll oh, get that sorted tomorrow. So I'm going to leave you with that, people. Hope it's all right. Um, any comments, any questions from people who want to build a house in Thailand, um, send me some messages. I'll try and help you wherever I can. Any feedback from the home people. But just bear in mind you know, this is Thailand, you know, so the, the value of this house um, is not the value of a, of a home in, in, uh, in, in England or in Europe. So, you know, um, but, you know, you know criticise or, you know, but, yeah, enjoy, you know, a positive feedback. It would be nice. Um, yeah, but I'm open. I'm open to, uh, to whatever and I'll answer what I can. And that's that. 
Um, what I'll do just before uh, I go, um, no, I think I'll leave it actually on for the. Uh, no, I'll do it. I'll do it now. But um, I'm not going to do it on the video, people. So those who want to see um, the the day shot and the night shot with lights, because we've we've actually put some lights around the outside. Uh, not many, but we've put some, and we've put some on the on the uh, on the post outside. You can just see that there, and then some on these uh, on these uh, other three posts. So. Those who want to see the night shot, uh, it'll be on Facebook uh, along with um, a day shot. And I'll be back in a few days, hopefully with a completed roof. Again, you know, maybe, maybe not, but um, I'll with an inside, inside video uh, as to what we've done. And any, anybody want any any ideas on on kinds of costs of uh, of things or what they should do or what they shouldn't do? Yeah, send me an email, guys. Leave feedback. Okay, signing off now. Good night.